super delayed unboxing. I really should have done this part beforehand because I had to cut out a lot of the struggle from this dollar store exacto knife. It gave me a lot of little problems, but it is fine. I bought two of these because I lost this one and I was so excited that I found it even though I'm really not sure where the other one is now that I had to use it. Cut away from yourself. Remember that. Cut away from yourself. Do not slice into your hand like I might do later on in this video. This is of course the super delayed, I have had this for weeks and have not unboxed it. I wanted to do it live, but could not. I'm going to change the camera angle so you can see it better. I think this is the best view I'm going to get with this. This, I've been waiting to open this a long time. I wanted to do it in a live, but I was not able to go live. Because I do not have a webcam on my computer. So I got the Ken with a wheelchair. He comes with a ramp, a wheelchair, his outfit, and sunglasses. Which I've heard were kind of flimsy. Now these are some of the more diverse dolls coming out. But they're is also a doll with a bit of LIGO that's coming out as well. Now that doll will not be articulated. And I do really like that they're coming out with more diverse dolls with more problems, physical problems. I may rehead this doll because I like to do custom dolls only. And I do have a Ken that I want to completely redo and I may use him. He may be going on um, a broad body, which I think happens to this particular doll a lot because some people don't like the head that comes with him, but they like that he's fully articulated, which is imperative with this kind of doll because he wouldn't be able to sit properly if he did not have articulated knees. came pretty well, I think. I paid 20 for this, which is pretty good considering they actually sell them more online opened than that. Because not everybody um, has a credit card. Some people can only pay with PayPal, and I did buy this on Amazon. But I paid with um, a gift card that I got from Swagbucks. Swagbucks is just the um, online survey company that I use to make money to make more interesting videos. If you want a link to that, just email me on Instagram and I will send you and give me your proper email and I will send you a link so you can sign up too. got a tab in his head. No wonder they don't like to keep this. It's very difficult to get where it is, too. Or you're gonna cut off his head. I nearly cut my hand. So we got this out. It looks so much brighter in person than with my lighting setup, but this room is always incredibly dark even though I have five good lights. And that light, my desk light, is just making everything shiny. I can get him out. We can review him as an articulated adult, even if you intend to put on a different head. I think these are usable, even though they are kind of flimsy. 
if you leave the plastic on only. So I'm gonna leave that on so these are usable. Um, the knees, this knee is not as tight, but his knees are pretty tight. I'm gonna take the camera down to a lower angle. This should have enough light so you can see him in detail. He is tan. Oh, that tab. Oh, it's so deep. And it's sharp. That is a sharp tab. That I do not like. I do not think that is necessary. I mean, the only thing it really, the only thing that really does is keep their, his head in the position in the box. And it doesn't matter if they're looking up like this or looking down like that. Doesn't matter. He is the articulated made to move body for a man, which is why I bought him. Plus, I thought the wheelchair was nice and usable. Either they need a checkup or they're speeding because that did not sound good. Or both. But they're fully articulated. He's got articulated knees and ankles. I do like these shoes. Feet are not supposed to go that way. And his shoes say Ken. They are pretty reasonable quality. They're a little bigger than the normal Ken shoes, I believe, because he is articulated and also he has an articulated chest but not waist so any waist movement will be limited to just moving his legs because he cannot pivot his body you will have to do that if you're say doing a stop motion and these are the reason that a lot of adults buy dolls like this for stop motions because you have full range of motions. It is also why they replaced the head to something that is custom so that they have their own custom doll. And I did just get him for the body and the wheelchair. And we're going to take a closer look at that as well. So here is the wheelchair. I love the color. Um, there's no handles, which would be nice. It says Ken. And if I use it in videos because I try not to use branded things where you can see how they're branded, I will probably build my own handlebar part. But I do love how it's got the look of leather. I love this green color and it works very well even without the ramp. Of course the ramp just the ramp will just you just put it on something higher and then you can roll off it. But I this rolls so well I most of the time, I don't think even in stories you would need the ramp. Ooh, it's got a tat. This stuck to it. And I did not see it probably where his arm was. So usually I say if it's worth it, which, yeah, for this it was completely worth the $20. You consider that... They go for more than that online, and they don't even give you the articulated body that came with it. They'll put it on a broad can, and um, you figure you're paying less than $10 per item. You get the ramp, you get this, you get the wheelchair, and you get the, the can. So 
even if you're just including these two because you're not going to use the ramp that's only ten dollars a piece which i think is very reasonable especially for um a 10 that is posable i do wish they would make a broad ken that was posable as well this has been the real prince club for my review my belated review of the ken in a wheelchair which i do really like him uh, stay tuned because i will be customizing him later on i do not know when that video is coming out i have not made it yet but stay tuned, just hit the bell and you'll be notified when that video comes out. And now for the critical part of this review, I had to do it. There is indents on his face from where the glasses were. And also his mouth is painted off. If you use this doll for photographs, I would shoot head on more often. And to the side where it's not painted as off. And, but it seems to work fine. Um, another doll that had that problem was the made to move curvy doll. Her mouth was painted very badly. And have you noticed any imperfections in the dolls that you've bought from Mattel? Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe for more videos. And have a great day. Bye.